Hey guys, so I decided, yes, this is what I look like with no makeup. Just ignore this face. We're about to transform. Um, I am actually doing a get ready with me because I've had so many requests for a makeup tutorial. And also I figured we could do like a little Q&A. So I asked on my Instagram um, for you guys to ask me any questions, weight loss related or not. So I'm going to pull those up right now and we are just gonna get started i'm gonna pick a few and just kind of talk and whatnot so i'm gonna put my phone right here and let's get started okay so i'm using this smashbox photo finish um, primer that's what i'm going to start with so the first question that i get a lot of questions about um is my husband actually I got a lot of questions about my husband um so someone asked where did me and my husband meet um so when we were in seventh grade, he actually moved from Michigan to Indiana where I lived and he started going to my school, my middle school. So he was like the new kid and I thought it was really cute and actually he lived like one block away from me, like one street down. So we rode the same school bus. So that's actually how we met was um, on the school bus. <laughs> Um, and we would just like flirt and stuff. We were so young. We were like 12 and 13. Um, and then we were bad. We used to sneak out together and all that, you know, typical bad kid stuff. Um, I'm using the Maybelline 24 hour foundation. This is my current favorite. Um, and this is a Morphe beauty blender. So, um, we just started sneaking out together. Da da da. And then, um, after a while, so we kind of just spent all of eighth grade, um, like liking each other and like pretty much being together, but not officially. And then, um, at the beginning of our freshman year of high school, he finally asked me to be his girlfriend. So yeah. And then we've just been dating ever since. It's pretty crazy. Um, how long we've been together, like almost 10 years. So it's insane but I wouldn't trade it for anything. And I get a lot of questions, um, just if he's supportive, he's always been supportive of my weight loss. Um, he's never like, he never like brought it up when I was bigger because I think it was just like kind of an awkward conversation to have, you know? So, um, but I know that he always wanted it for me cause he knew how much I wanted it. Um, so yeah. So another really common question is if I've ever had a plateau in my weight loss and honestly I have not. Um, I've been very lucky to where I have it. Um, I mean I did have like my last 20 pounds took like five or six months um, but it was slowly coming off. Um, what I always say when people ask what to do in a plateau is just try to switch up what you're doing because your body gets so used to it. and. Um, that's what causes the plateau. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Um, so just try to add more high intensity into your workout. Switch up what you're doing in the gym. Um, I think that can help a lot. Um, but I was very thankful that I didn't have like a real plateau to where I wasn't losing at all for like months or anything. Um, but yeah, that's my best advice is just to like switch things up. So a lot of people are asking what I do um, as my job and also what my husband does. So, um, I am a stay at home mom. I have been, um, since I had my son and, um, I am basically my job now is social media, which I'm super, super, super thankful for. I think it's, it's amazing. And I'm so blessed. Um, as for my husband, he, just recently got out of the Marine Corps, so he actually just got a job at a company called Steel Dynamics, um, which is like a really awesome job. So we're really excited for that. He actually starts on Monday. So um, yeah, he's just been enjoying his time off. He's been working every single day for four years and um, he's been enjoying his like couple months off. So I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I just like to take this um, kind of domey brush and I'm wearing a black shirt, of course. And I just tap it under my eyes to bake that concealer in. A little bit on my eyes, right here, down my nose. This is how I get it to stay so well. 
Everyone asks me, do I eat fruit? I eat fruit a lot as snacks, um, so I don't really like post it that much. I just kind of like snack on it. But yes, I do eat fruit. I didn't cut fruit out. Fruit is awesome. I love grapes. I love strawberries. I mean, I can't wait till strawberry season again because I was eating those like constantly. Um, blueberries, bananas. I eat all of that stuff. So yes, I do eat fruit. <clears throat> so someone asked, hey, how are you able to lose so much weight in your arms? I really need help in that area. So when it comes to losing fat, you can't spot reduce fat. So you can't target certain areas of fat. Um, you, you lose fat all over. So what I did for my arms is I toned them with lifting. So I know some people like see my transformation on my arms and stuff and they're like, oh my gosh, how'd you do that? Like I busted my butt in the gym for a year and a half doing lifting. Um, so I just did arm workouts. I have one posted here on my YouTube channel. Um, and I just did it consistently. Two times a week I did arms. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. As well as, you know, clean eating and cardio. Um, but I didn't do any specific thing to lose fat there. It just came off um, as I was losing weight as well as, as I was toning. Um, I'm using the Anastasia... Uh, dark brown brow pomade for my eyebrows um, let me get another question real quick do you plan okay so let me just talk about this real quick someone asked do you plan on getting your loose skin removed and I actually saw a YouTube comment that was like why not finish the transformation like I don't get it first of all it's expensive <laughs> um, people ask that question like it's like 10 bucks to get it removed like it's very expensive um, so the answer is yes I plan on getting my skin removed but not for a while um, we plan on having more kids in the very near future and I just don't think that it's practical for me to get all the surgery done if I'm about to get pregnant um, and like have more kids multiple more kids probably like two more so, um, I'm just going to wait until I'm finished having kids. As much as I want it gone, like I want it gone so bad, um, I'm learning to live with it because I know it's just not the right time right now. And that's okay. My loose skin isn't the most horrible, disgusting thing in the world. Um, like people are like, just chop it off. Like they act like it's like, I'm like horrified of it. Like, yeah, it sucks, but... One, it shows my battle. It shows what I've done and where I've been. And it's way better than what I looked like before. So, um, yeah, I do plan on having my skin removed. Just not for a long time. Probably, like, five more years or so. So, that's that. So, a lot of people ask me if I found that when I was lifting, if I saw a gain on the scale. And for me, no. Um, because I was so heavy when I started lifting that the fat was just coming off and I wasn't seeing a gain from, you know, lifting at all. Um, the reason you'll see a gain from lifting sometimes is because your muscles are ripping, they're tearing, and you're retaining so much water in your muscles. That's why the scale goes up. So hold on. I'm using the Morphe, um, 25B eyeshadow palette. And I'm just taking the light browns and putting them in my crease as like a blending color. Um, so yeah, if you see like a little up on the scale because you started lifting, um, don't let that like discourage you. Lifting is so freaking amazing for you and it's helped me tone and sculpt my body in so many ways. Like I'm so glad that I started lifting from the beginning. Um, if you see a gain, it's okay. It's just your muscles retaining water. If you're in a caloric deficit and you're losing weight and you're toning, like you're not gonna gain weight from it, just water weight. Um, like I had a girl message me and she's like, I started lifting and I saw like a huge gain on the scale and then I just kept going. And then like a couple weeks later, I had like a six pound loss or something. Like it does come off, it's just temporary. So don't let it discourage you. 
um, I know the scale can be like our worst enemy. I think um, maybe if you're lifting, not not weigh yourself like every single day because um, it could just like get in your head and stuff. But yeah. So someone said, do you think losing weight quicker can cause you to gain it back faster in the future? Um, I'm not, I wouldn't say yes or no. I think, is it possible? Yes. Um, it's all about how you lost the weight. I mean, I lost my weight on Weight Watchers pretty quick, I would say. Um, but I learned lifestyle changes. I learned a whole new way of eating. Um, if you are doing something like super insane and you're dropping weight super fast, but you're miserable and you're binging and you're like not learning a good relationship with food, um, like if you're doing some fad diet that's gonna make you drop 10 pounds in a day, like yeah, you're gonna drop weight fast, but it's gonna come right back on because you didn't really learn anything. Um, so for me, I did drop the weight pretty fast, but I learned how to eat. I learned lifestyle changes. I learned how to make my favorite foods into healthier versions. Um, and so I think that's why I'm not gonna gain my weight back. Um, I know it's a real thing. A lot of people gain their weight back, like something crazy, like 90 something percent of people who've lost a significant amount of weight gain their weight back. Um, so I know that it's real um, and I will be conscious of that for my whole life, but I am confident in what I've learned and how far I've come in my mental state that I'm confident I will not be gaining my weight back. Now I get a lot of more questions um, about pregnancy and what I'm going to do when I'm pregnant. So when I was pregnant with my son, I was, I got up to 320 pounds. Um, I was extremely unhealthy. Pause. I'm going to take this shade. This is the shade that I use on my eyelid. Um, so I've just been mixing this one, this one, this one, and this one. Just a bunch of browns and slowly darkening it as I go. Um, so I was super unhealthy when I was pregnant with my son and I vowed to myself. I told my husband, I said, I am not going to let pregnancy be an excuse to gain an excess amount of weight um am i gonna gain weight yes because <laughs> i'm pregnant obviously you gain weight from the baby you gain weight from the fluid you gain weight from da -da -da, this and that but i refuse to gain excess weight um like 70 pounds or something like that um so i'm going to be eating the same foods that i'm eating now um, I am going to be tracking still so technically you're not allowed to be on Weight Watchers They don't have a a program for pregnant women. Um, I'm going to use my app still and track my food I'm gonna give myself a couple extra points um, Including my maintenance points I'm obviously gonna talk to my doctor um, But I plan on tracking I plan on keeping myself accountable doing the same things that I'm doing right now going to the gym four to five to maybe six days a week, walking, doing the Stairmaster, doing weights, I can still do all of that stuff. Um, it's not like I'm gonna get pregnant and just sit on my butt all day and never go to the gym again and um, eat like crap. Um, I know pregnancy cravings are like a real thing, but in my opinion, it's like an excuse. Um, for me, I know I, I would easily use it as an excuse, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, am I gonna eat something here and there? Yes, I'm not gonna be perfect. Um, but I'm not going to let it be an excuse. I'm gonna document my entire fit pregnancy here on YouTube and on Instagram. I'm gonna do weekly updates, weekly um, you know, doctor appointment updates. I'm gonna record our gender reveal. I'm gonna record maybe even the birth and things like that. So I plan on documenting my entire journey because I know so many moms struggle with weight gain during pregnancy and losing it after. So I'll have all that to document. Um, I'm using the Lime Life by Alcone Liquid Eyeliner. I will actually link the link to this down below. Um, I order it from a friend. Um, so I'll put her link down below. Um, it's the best liquid eyeliner I've ever tried. So a lot of, another question on there was shows how you do your eyeliner. So I'm about to do that right now. I just do it pretty quick. It's kind of crazy, but. So yeah, I can't talk during this part, so.
Ta-da. So I kind of messed up a little bit. I'm not too worried about it. There we go. There we go. That's how I do my eyeliner. <laughs> Pretty simple. Um, okay, so another question that I get a lot that I was asked probably like 10 times in that question thing um, is how I stay motivated. It's my most frequently asked question of my entire life. <laughs> um... And the answer is always, I'm not always motivated. Um, I'll say that every time I get asked this because it's the truth, you're not always going to be motivated. Uh, this is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. It's my all-time favorite mascara. It's the freaking best. I'm actually going to put on fake lashes just because I feel like it. Um, so you're not always going to be motivated, guys. If you go into your journey thinking that you always have to be motivated to get to the gym or to eat healthy, then you're not going to succeed um, because that's just not the reality of it. No one is motivated every single day of their life to go to the gym. Like there's going to be days where you don't want to and you're not just going to be like, oh, okay, like I'm not motivated today, so I'm not going to go. Like, no, you just have to do it anyways. That's just part of the journey. So you have to just push through those days that you're not feeling motivated and just go anyways because otherwise you're just gonna fail. And that's just me being real because if you tell yourself that I have to be motivated to be able to go to the gym, then you're just never gonna go because there's definitely days where I don't wanna go, but I just have to go. It's just part of my routine. It's part of my life. It's part of my day, just like brushing my teeth. It's just something that I have to get done. Um, so I'm using the Ardell Wispies um, lashes. So I just put the glue on. I use the duo, duo glue and I wave it around and let the glue get tacky. Um, if you just put it on right away, it's going to slide all over the place. You want it to be a little sticky when you put it on. So I kind of just like blow on it and all that. Okay, let me look at some more questions. Let's see, um, how tall are you? This is so commonly asked. I'm five foot seven. Um, what breed is your dog? So um, my dog's name is Smokey. I'll put a picture of him right here. He is a toy Australian Shepherd. So when we got him, they told us he was a mini Australian Shepherd, which is what we wanted because they're kind of like medium size. Um, and then we realized he wasn't growing. We're like, and they're like, oh, never mind, he's a toy. We're like, oh, we didn't really want a toy dog, but it's fine. We love him to death. He is the best dog. He's amazing with my son. He's seriously our baby. We got him when we first moved to California, um, when my husband got stationed there, before I even got pregnant or anything. So, yeah, I've had him for a while. Um, how do you clean your sweet sweat? So, I rinse it with soap and water. I get paper towel and rinse it with soap, water, and then I let it air dry. Um, what has been your favorite part of weight loss that you weren't expecting? Um, honestly, and I got another question like, what was your favorite non-scale victory? Um, I think what's been my favorite thing is just being like, not being hot all the time. Um, I know that seems like so silly, um, but if you're overweight, you understand. Like, I was just always hot, always sweating. Like, I couldn't even go into the grocery store without breaking a sweat. Um, so I definitely think that's been the best thing. Um, just because like, it's there's nothing more annoying than being hot at all times like even in high school when I gained my weight like my junior and senior year of high school I would walk to classes and I would get to my class and I would just be sitting there like fanning myself with all my books and everyone was just sitting there normal like no one else was hot I was like I guess it's because I'm fat like I just I don't know I was just always always hot um 
even just like right now, like when I would get ready for the day, I would be sweating and I would be sweating my makeup off. I'd have to have a paper towel next to me right now to like dab my sweat off my mustache. Like <laughs> I was just always sweating. It was horrible. And now like most of the time, like I'm freezing. I can never get warm. Like my husband's like, it's so hot in here. I'm like, I'm literally shivering. So I think that's one of my, one of my favorite things for sure. Also, um, like having it, being able to wrap a towel, like my bath towel around me and walk around and um, <clears throat> being able to like run around with my son and play with him and chase him around without like dying. Um, crossing my, like right now I'm crossing my legs casually. Like I couldn't even cross my legs when I was overweight. So there's just a lot of things that are awesome. Just feeling so much healthier. Like my chest used to touch my chin. Like I was just suffocated all the time. So those are my favorite things. Someone asked, what is your caloric intake for the day? I do not count calories. I only count points. So I don't know what my caloric intake is. Um, I know some people count points and calories and I just think that's way too much and it's not sustainable at all. I would go insane. And also I think it'd be easy to like freak yourself out like comparing. Um, so I just, uh, I just count points. And that's just me and you can do whatever you want but for me like that's what's sustainable so I have no idea how many calories I eat um, I just count points and points are based on calories sugar saturated fat and protein content um, so I've never had a personal trainer that's a really frequently asked question as well I've never had a personal trainer um, I just literally went on youtube and pinterest and instagram and looked up how to do things and looked up workouts and did all of my own research when i was 300 pounds trying to figure out what to do um but i did not have a personal trainer so this is my favorite bronzer i've been using this since i was literally in eighth grade it's my ride or die bronzer benefit hula so i just take it on this brush just warm up my face headphones do you use I use the um, beats wireless beats the ones that go over the ear um, they're the pink ones um, and okay I decided I was gonna address this I wasn't going to at first um, but I'm going to so I get asked literally all the time there's been like five questions already I've seen um, about intimacy with my husband since I've lost the weight so as crazy as it seems I'm less confident now um, in the bedroom because of my loose skin um, I just never want to show my stomach or my breasts because my loose skin is just horrible um, this is the Becca flower child blush so that's just the honest truth of it. Um, he does not care. So he tells me, obviously, he doesn't care. He loves me no matter what. Um, but yeah, I just do, I do feel um, pretty self-conscious when um, it comes to that. But um, as for our relationship, nothing has changed. Um, we're the same. I mean, I'm, I'm happier for sure. But um like it's not like he loves me any different than he did before like I just lost weight and I'm, I'm definitely happier and we have a better relationship because of the fact that I'm happier um so I'm using some MAC fix plus I'm gonna spray it on my highlighter brush and I'm gonna use the Becca opal highlighter so the the max fix plus kind of just gives it even more of like a pop-in highlighter feel so yeah that's that um, I am self-conscious because of my skin when it comes to me and my husband, but he's amazing and obviously he never tells me that it bothers him. Um, so yeah, that's that. I get asked that all the time. <laughs> um, okay. So let's see, a couple more because I'm almost done. How do you cook your eggs? I have a video here on my YouTube channel, um, the Felicia Combo video. <gasps> hi baby, my baby's joining me. Can you say hi? Hi. Say hi. <laughs> hi. Mm -hmm. 
Um, yes, I lost all my weight on Weight Watchers. Um, someone asked how many kids do I want. <laughs> He's so cute. Um, I probably want like two more at the most. Um, I'm not sure I want more than three total. Um, so now I'm taking my, um, this is MAC uh, Risqué eyeliner. It's just a nude eyeliner. I like to put it in my waterline to really make my eyes pop. Um, pop? Yeah, make my eyes pop. Okay. Um, no, I have never tried keto. Somebody asked me. I have never tried keto. Um, I think if keto works for you, that's awesome. I don't think for me it would be sustainable. I love carbs too much. Um, you don't have to give up carbs to lose weight, you guys. Um, there's a lot of different ways, but I know a lot of people love keto, and that's freaking awesome. If that works for you, that's great. Um, like I said, I just don't think that it would be sustainable for me personally. Oh, you know when you get mascara on your face. So if that ever happens, guys, I just let it dry, and then I flick it off with a q-tip it comes off like really easily oh that's so annoying so i like to just kind of blend my i don't want to get that spot blend my highlighter a little bit um so i just put on some chapstick hi baby my basic makeup look like it's nothing crazy um a lot of times i don't wear fake lashes if i'm not going out um but i do like to get ready like every day um it just kind of like puts me in a good mood makes me feel good um what is he doing back there do you guys see him um so yeah now i'm ready for the day i'm just going to chill finish drinking my coffee and yeah i hope you guys like this video i hope i answered a lot there's so many questions there's no way i could answer all of them um i am planning on filming my birth story today no water so i will film that today and post that soon probably this will go up first um yeah hope you guys enjoyed this gotta tend to my baby and like always leave suggestions please leave suggestions down in the comments of what you guys want to see from me and make sure you're following me on Instagram. I'm super active there. I post every day on my story and on my page. So, yeah. Hope you guys like this video and I'll see you in my next one.